Hey, this is Mikey with a quick update video on the charts and graphs presets I had talked about last week. And I wanted to say that I've done some more work and this one, the pie charts, I have got completely finished. I've taken some of the suggestions that um, people have said in the comments and I've added it into here. And I just wanted to show you how this all works in the final version and that I am going to be releasing this soon along with a brand new website and that it'll be available on my new website. So more info on that later, but first let's talk about this pie chart. So what I've added is the scale feature where I can come in and scale one thing. Say if I wanted to highlight a certain slice, that's easy to do. So let me kind of go through all of this. So I've got all these slices where I can change the amount and you'll see over here I've got it linked to some text. I know some people were asking about that and I'll kind of explain that a little bit. So I can change the slices, the percentage on each one. And a cool feature is say this slice right here, um, which is number seven. If one of these slices gets too big for it, the, the pie, it automatically shrinks down and see how it kind of envelops that into the rest of the pie chart. So it's got a hierarchy. Um, slice one has precedent over everything else. Um, you know, and then, then two, then three, four, five, six, and then seven, the very end piece will just take everything that's left over and that's the percentage it'll be. So you don't have to calculate everything, making sure it adds up to 100. Um, it'll do it for you. So I can come in here, I've, of course, change colors on all these, which is always fun. And now the next thing I want to show you is the scale feature. So people had asked about, I want to say highlight a certain piece of the pie. Well, you can do this. I've got this scale. So each slice has its own scale. So I can bring this up to 120%. And then that will highlight that part of the pie, which is pretty cool. Another cool thing you can do with this, since I had it as a scale instead of just like a button that makes it highlight, is I can set this down to now zero say I wanted a piece missing out of the pie. And now I can make, you know, like a really funky looking Pac-Man. So that is that. Let's set that back to 100. And maybe we'll go to 120 so it's kind of highlighted. This is the piece. And then, so these sliders are set to go from 0 to 100. And I can bring these up, um, say the slice 3, I can bring it up to 100 even though it's not taking 100% because I've got 16 and 17% over on slice one and two. I have these displays down here to give me the actual readout of what each part of the pie really is. So with these displays, what I did is I have just a text box here. And then each of these text boxes are separate boxes. And then what I did is I came to the shape layer, I locked it, I come into this text box, so that's the very bottom one, slice seven. I come into the text source and I just link the text source to display seven. And then it's going to show the number five right there. And even if I come in here and say, do uh, percent points, so I can do 8.5, well, then that's going to be 8.5 and everything is going to everything is going to reflect that. So that is custom pie charts. Really cool. It's going to be available really soon. I've got four others that I'm working on, which are line graphs, bar graphs, tables, and Venn diagrams. So that's all going to be a part of this one preset pack that's going to be available on my new website soon. Thank you so much for your input and making this a better preset. And uh, we'll talk to you next time. See ya.